Welcome back to today's vlog, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I have something pretty cool to show you. So I went online last night and a bunch of videos kept popping out on me on YouTube. 1000 degree knife versus this, 1000 degree knife versus that, 1000 degree knife versus Coca-Cola. And I watched that video and then I watched 10 other videos of people copying the same exact thing. Think, so I was thinking, what if I get 25 pounds of dry ice, get a knife, and heat it up with a blowtorch to 1000 degrees and try to cut through it. But then I was thinking, what if I take a machete? And then I was thinking, what if I take a samurai sword and use the blowtorch and try to cut through it. That is what we're gonna do today. That is the video today. Let's rewind to the morning, but first, but wait. My goals, guys, my goals. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers here. If you could help me out and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And I'm trying to get to 1 million subscribers on my main Incredible Science channel, so please subscribe there as well. Give this video a big thumbs up, and if this video gets to 200 likes, if this video gets to 200 likes, I will do more blow torches more knives, more cutting through stuff with a red hot knife. So give this video a big thumbs up. Also, please check out my main channel video of this dry eyes, blowtorch, and knife video. I will put the link in the description below. You guys get some extra stuff because this is the vlog channel. So let's get to the video. Let's rewind to the morning where my day started. And then we'll end up right here, cutting through everything with this super cool glowing knife. <laughs> Today I started off my day by getting some dry ice that I have in the back container there because my plan is heating up knife and slicing through things. I'm gonna try to slice through dry ice with it later. Gotta get to my school now. In school. In school. In school. Only. Only the cloud works, but the cloud looks like just a blue light because you don't have the green stars. This was an epic fail. I just left school. That was the most epic failed experiment ever. I was building it up for like a half hour, how cool it was. And then I brought it into class, flipped the switch, you heard the motor, but there was nothing on the ceiling other than like a little faint blue glow. It's supposed to be this awesome laser star with blue clouds. All right, I'll bring it in a different time. Hopefully and get it to work. Right now, I gotta get to Home Depot because I gotta get the blow torches. I am so excited to try this experiment. With I'm in Home Depot, guys, and look at the torch section. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Everything I need is sold out. I'm in Home Depot. I'm not in some. I'm not in some random store. I gotta head across town to the other Home Depot. So originally I said they didn't have it, but I pushed and I told them that they did. <laughs> so it should be in aisle 21 here. They just had to check it up because they thought they didn't have it. And I was like, you do have it. I saw it online in the other store had, so you probably do somewhere. So I'm looking here. They said aisle 21 in the back of aisle 21. We are in business. This is happening tonight. Gonna buy these. Which one am I buying though? Manual high heat torch. All right, on my way home, and I just realized I have to get this experiment done. I gotta get it started pretty much as soon as I get home because the dry ice is melting away minute by minute. And if I wait too long, it's gonna be empty. It's gonna sublimate into a gas and it's just gonna be an empty box if I don't hurry. So I'm gonna get home and I hope I can get this done in time. All right, guys, here we are. I made it home. We have dry ice left. Here's the plan. I'm gonna start with a small knife and a small piece of dry ice. Then I'm gonna move on to a bigger knife. I'm going to move on to a machete. This machete actually put me in the hospital. I'll put me, I'll put me, I'll put the link in the description below to that video. And after the machete, after the machete, we are graduating to a samurai sword. A samurai sword and a giant block of dry ice, which I'm gonna show you really soon. But for now, let's get going with our first piece of dry ice. For the full video, head on over to the main channel, to the main Incredible Science channel. You'll see everything there in much better quality. This camera's filming that, and let's do it. All right guys, here goes round one, the small knife and the small piece of dry ice. Let's do it.
that knife is super hot and I put it down on the blanket and the whole thing caught on fire when I tried to heat it up. Okay, that knife is done. Luckily, I got the footage already. All right, doing the middle knife, guys. How cool is this? Look at it. It is a bright orange. This is no camera trick. This is literally just as bright as it looks on camera. That's how bright it is. This one, this piece is huge. I'm not nervous about that. I'm nervous about heating up the machete. I actually put myself in the hospital with this. I have a little bit of bad memories with this blade. I'm also concerned I keep burning this, this black blanket thing because the blade touches it and then all those fumes and smells are just ugh, horrible. So I have to be careful. I want to make sure I get the shot. I want this to be glowing red. I hope, I hope it will be. I have some gummy on here still. Burnt my finger a drop, but that's it, because I touched the blade accidentally earlier. Other than that, my battery is dying. Let's get to it. Let's go. Now we have our giant piece of dry ice. This thing by giant, look, look, I'm not I'm not kidding. This is samurai and machete caliber chunk of dry ice. So we're gonna place it down. All right guys, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. There's just one other thing. All right, there's just one other thing I wanted to try and that is taking a blowtorch to dry ice. I was wondering what happens if, well, if I turn this on and just heat it up. Now, dry ice doesn't melt, it sublimates. It turns into a gas, right? So what we should see is a lot of gas coming out. Do you see anything at Not much. Not much. If you want to see the full polished video of this dry ice and 1000 degree knife, head on over to my main channel, Incredible Science. I'll put the link in the description below. Whoa. In the description below. I'll put the link in the description. It's like I'm threatening you. I'll put the link in the description below, so, so go check it out right now. I'm not like threatening you or anything. I, I don't know why you, why you would think that, that I'm telling you you have to go check it out all right if i walk through the streets of new york like this it, it may may be my last vlog ever all right it's actually maybe a cool thumbnail hang on a second hang on oh, that's actually cool so thank you again for being here i will see you tomorrow stay incredible 